When pain, misery, or anger happens, it's time to look within you, not around you. Quote of the day. Let's get to our video. Uh, Bitcoin on the 5-Day Gaussian channel chart with a fractal. Uh, we're, today we're going to look at what the possibilities are. Um, how soon could we turn this channel back green? What that means? And what is our peak? And when could that happen? So if you like the video today, give us a thumbs up. If you want more content, more help with the future bull market, uh, join us on Patreon and Telegram. Links below. So looking at this projection um, so far, let's be super conservative with this. And let's say we're only going to 100K next bull run, right? Let's pretend it's going to take us three years to do that. This is maybe what it looks like, right? This is more or less a loosely fit uh, fractal of, you know, our last bull run start, right? I just took uh, this, this fractal from here to there and kind of adjusted it a little bit to kind of play around. But this gives you a little bit of a visual perspective of what that might look like uh, for the next, for three years from now, topping out at 100K. So this is basically topping out in early 2026, February 2026 at 100K. That's what it looks like, right? More or less. So what else do we need to extract from this? Well, to turn our five-day Gaussian channel green, which is what we really want to wait for, because that's when the big action can start. Uh, you have you go from red to green, from the bear market in red, right? And then you wait for your price action to be on top, uh, minus the black swan events. But even then, it still works, right? Uh, you're likely going to go minus black swan events. This was likely the event. Now, does that mean it's up only mode once this turns from red to green? Of course not, right? Look at this. We went from like 13K and, you, you know, 50% down back to 7K, right? Uh, but minus black swan events, that was likely a good time to at least start to move back into the markets. And even here, right, we went back to red. Uh, wait for your price action to get on top, right? You want double check marks. You want the, the Gaussian channeled green on the five day and your price action to be on top, and then the explosive moves happen, right? And even here, right, it's a pretty explosive move going going up uh, uh, lots of lots of percentages, okay? So uh, let's pretend that, you know, we're going to do something loosely fit to this. And again, we're being super conservative. So you think it's going to happen earlier or go higher, then this would look even more extreme than it already does. Uh, so keep that in mind. Now, when could we possibly turn this green? Well, if we're going to follow something like this, it's going to take the better part of 2023. Uh, you can do, uh, you know, just some, you know, real easy kind of projections here. And you see, we, how does it, you know, first of all, how does the channel turn back green? Well, you have to go up, right? We're still going down in a pretty dramatic fashion. So uh, to go up, right, this is going to take some price movements. I mean, look at the, look at where we are now. We're already at 2024 right here. Could we do it earlier? Yeah. How could we do it earlier? Well, we have to mimic uh, what we did back in the last bull cycle, right? Which is make a pretty uh, epic move to the upside in a pretty dramatic fashion. So from our bottom to our top, that little move right there where we turned really quick, took 200 days and went up 300, over 300%, right? So let's say from the bottom to top, 200 days and 300%, right? Are you catching the, the drift here of the unlikeliness? So that takes us back to all-time highs by this summer. <laughs> Not likely, right? Uh, although possible, right? There's a greater than 0% chance for almost anything, but that's how we would basically turn that channel green. Uh, so far, we, we are kind of rhyming with this move. Uh, if you don't believe me, we can take the bottom move and look at, see how this, we, we got just shy of the, the five-day Gaussian channel median line right here. That was about a 65, 60, 70% move right there. Right, well, let's look at this move. From our bottom, let's adjust it here, just so you can see it better. From our bottom, uh, let's go from that wick right there to where we are now from their highs, you know, 56% move, right? Not exactly the same, but pretty close, right? So uh, I, you know, <laughs> are we gonna go up to 60, you know, 60K plus in the next two months, three months, like we did back here? Not likely, but that's what it would take for us to turn that channel back green. Uh, you know, sooner than Q4 of this year. I would think that is basically going to be the earliest we're going to turn that channel green, which is also, if that happens, that's likely going to take some time. And that's likely when the bigger price action would start. When we start to see, you know, mid 30s, 35, 40K, that's what it's going to take to really, 
really crank this channel back to the green and really get the bigger moves like we're all um, you know waiting for. Uh, so what do you think about that? Let me know in a comment below. If you think we're going higher than 100K and sooner, well, let's go look at that, right? If you think we're going to 200K by, let's say, two years from now, right? Let's say January, February 2025 and 200K. Well, look at that move, right? There's 200K in two years. So uh, let's zoom out and see what that would look like. And maybe some of you are like, well, that doesn't look too bad. Well, yeah, uh, but what's the, <laughs> are we going to do that, right? Who knows what's going to happen? How about how about 200K in, you know, next year, uh, 2024, less, one year away? Could we do that? Not Now it becomes a little bit uh, silly, right? We're going to, at this point, even 100K uh, this time next year would look at this. Let's zoom in and see how absolutely insane of a move this would have to look like, right? Not likely. So the the most likely scenario, I would say, uh, based on you know the charts, based on all the data, based on me being here for you know over five years now, I would say we're looking at at least sometime in 2025, if not closer to 2026, for a peak somewhere between one to 200k. Right? What do you think? What do you 150k? Right? There looks loosely based like this. Right? Depending on where you want. If you want to know how to do this, right? You can do this on your own charts. Uh, you can just go over to the left. There's a fractal button. Uh, you can just search in fractal as well. I can do a tutorial on that, right? I'd be happy to tell you about it. Most of my people in our Telegram should know how to do that. So if you want to, you know, learn a little bit more, that's what that's for. So hopefully we can see you there. What do you think about this? Maybe it's the first time you've ever seen the Gaussian channel. Maybe you're a long time uh, subscriber and you know well about the Gaussian channel. But looking at the update here, we're likely another 10 to 12 months out. Uh, before we can get a green five-day Gaussian channel, which is likely 10 to 12 months out before we see the spectacular moves. But it, anything could happen. We saw it back in here, the last bull run, up you know many multiples in uh, just a few short months. So could we do that again? Of course. Are we likely to do that again? Probably not. But I think this is probably something like this, the most likely scenario, which we could very well be going into you know 2024 at you know still around these prices if you can believe it or not i know you don't want to hear that right i know everyone he wants you know a million dollars by the next uh sundown but you know bitcoin likes to test your patience and uh, uh that's all there is to it uh let's get to you guys saw the quote of the day it's a good one car of the day let's see if we got it the uh, pagani waira that's the roadster really nice i love you know normally i love roadsters more but what is it about the coupe uh, on the Pagani Waira that I like better than the Roadster? It's rare for me to like a, a, a coupe better. Uh, hello, the doors. <laughs> uh, you got uh, doors, and I had to get the bigger scale model. It's a hand put together model. This is really big. This is 112 scale, so you can see by my hands here, this is no joke. Uh, it's got like carbon fiber. It's got like the real paint on it. Quite expensive, uh, but you know that's that's it. I got this. I only have two in the bigger scales like this uh, because of their price, but they're pretty spectacular to look at. Uh, I have this and McLaren P1, which I think I've shown before. All right. For all the car people, thanks for watching this long. For all the non-car people, you've clicked off way long ago. <laughs> I'll see you on the next video. Uh, thanks for watching this long. If you have, thumbs up.